Hi. So in this video, I wanted to share with you six tips for rocking Kijiji. Um, I've been able to clear out a bunch of stuff in our house. It's been really nice to get back the square footage in our home, but also to get the cash for those items. If you have a garage sale, it's a great way to move a bunch of items really quickly, but people are also looking for super low prices. And with Kijiji, if you're okay with the items sitting in your home for a little bit longer, um, then you're able to get more money back for those items that you're happy to part with. And so over the course of my use of Kijiji, I've been able to make a few thousand dollars and some people have been asking me, how did you do that? Do you have any tips? I thought I'd sum them up for you here. So my very first tip for you, when you write out your descriptions of an item, always try to answer people's questions before they even ask. The more questions people have about your item, the less likely they are to get in touch. Um, it's just a weird little human thing, but if we feel confident that, oh yeah, I, I understand the item, the quality, the year, the make, the color, all those different things, um, then we feel more confident saying, yes, I would like to know more, or I'm interested in buying. Um, I can tell you now that no matter how detailed you are, there's still going to be some Yahoo who gets in touch with you and says, so what about this? It was in the first sentence. They obviously didn't read your ad. That's still going to happen, but the majority of people, when you were detailed, they'll get back to you and they either have informed questions that they want to ask or they're just saying, I want to buy. Next tip for you, um, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time chasing sales. Um, one of the reasons that Kijiji has been such a successful platform for me is that I don't go to where the other person is. I make them come to me. Um, if it's a larger sale, I have been willing to go and meet somebody at their home or drop something off somewhere. Um, but for something that I'm selling for five bucks, 10 bucks, forget it. Time is money. I am not driving half an hour to get to your home and then half an hour back. I've lost an hour of my time. That was gas in my car. That was, you know, whatever else I need. Did I need water or food, snacks along the way because I was out doing other stuff? That's money out of my pocket and so not worth the sale. At the bottom of all of my ads, I always say for pickup, and these are all caps, for pickup at our home on and I give my street name. I don't give the street uh, number, the house number, but instead wait until somebody's confirmed that they want to buy and then in that final message say, okay, great, you can come and pick it up at and this is our number. But by giving the street name and just so you know, Kijiji asks for your postal code. So it'll tell people the general neighborhood that you're in without giving anything more specific away. Um, by telling, uh, saying my street name, people can plan that much more specifically. So I found that people really appreciated that because they could figure out if there was a nearby bus line that they could take, if they had a friend living near, nearby, et cetera, et cetera. But I make very clear, you're coming to pick it up from me, not the other way around. Don't waste your time. Um, along those lines, be clear about the expected window that you set up. Kijiji, unfortunately, has a whole section of the community that's just a bunch of wieners. And what I mean by that is that they just kind of make this assumption that you're going to schedule your life around mine. I might be able to come at this time, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to be out of town until blah, blah, blah. It's really poor communication. It's just really thoughtless, to be honest. Um, so when somebody says they want to pick something up, make sure they're clear. This is the date. This is the time. And one thing that I've moved to now, and so I'm having more success, I'm making clear, you have a half hour window. You need to tell me when you can reasonably get to my home. Um, and having that half hour means that, yeah, if they get stuck in traffic or something like that, you know, there's a reasonable time in there. You know, if you're off by five minutes, who cares? Um, but I have had people who no showed, that happens quite a bit on Kijiji, or I've had people who got in touch, you know, three hours after they were supposed to show up. Oh, I'm sorry, I blah, 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 excuse, excuse, excuse. It's just thoughtless. Um, to avoid that, you can just make clear, you need to give me a window or this is the window that I'm available. And if you are not able to pick it up, you either need to message me ahead of time or I'm going to move on to the next buyer. And so it's okay to do that. If somebody is messing around with your schedule and not respecting your life, it's okay to say, I don't think you're the best fit for this particular purchase and I'm gonna put it back up for another buyer. Don't reschedule your life and sit around your house for three hours waiting for somebody who doesn't show up. If they ring your doorbell and they did not contact you to say that they were gonna be late and you've gone out by then, that's on them, not on you. And so it's okay to have expectations. Again, don't waste your time. Tip number four, um, when you post items, ask for the price that you're hoping to get. Start off with that, you know, price it well. What's gonna let you sleep at night and feel good? Like, yeah, I'm really happy I got that much money for it. 
put that up as your original price and then let the ad breathe. I think a lot of people kind of panic, you know, I haven't heard anything for two days, three days, a week has gone by, there are no responses, don't worry about it. You know, you see 23 people have looked at it, nobody's asked about it, don't worry about it, let it breathe. Kijiji will give you a notification when the ad is going to expire and give you an, the ability to just say repost. It's that easy. Um, people are doing searches for very specific items, so don't worry about having, you know, fallen down uh, the list. You're not, you know, the first ad anymore. You're the 222nd. You can either repost the entire thing from scratch and get bumped up to the top, but I don't bother with that just because when people are looking for something specific, then the search results show up. Um, so just sit on it, let it breathe. More often than not, if you're willing to wait, you can still get the original price that you asked for. Tip number five, when a lot of time has gone by and you're just going, okay, I wanna get this moving or it's, you know, I've reposted, 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 um, that's a great time to lower your price. So let it breathe, but if it's not moving, then lower your price and I'd again suggest either move it down to a price that you can still sleep at night and be happy with the sale. You can go down in small chunks. You don't have to chop, you know, 50% off. Just knock it down. Nobody's answering. Knock it down. Nobody's answering. Knock it down. It won't show on Kijiji and just anybody who's been following your ad, well, they might notice the price distance, uh, difference, but they're the ones that wanted to buy it. So good. If they're the ones who get in touch, great. You know, there's your buyer. Um, so lower in, pr in steps, don't worry about having to slash your prices. Uh, and then the last suggestion that I have or tip is just simplify your life. I started off using Kijiji to sell a couple of items where it's like, I don't want that and I don't want that, but I've been practicing more and more the art of simplicity, um, just having a simple life and I'm getting so many benefits out of it. My family is getting so many benefits out of it. Um, so it's the magic art of tidying up something like that by Marie Kondo. There's another book, Goodbye Things, um, just wonderful books about letting go and it's amazing, just mind blowing how that's impacted our family. So. I can recommend get started with Kijiji, start letting go, and then as you practice that, start putting up more and more and more. Kijiji is one of the most amazing platforms for clearing out your house, getting rid of clutter, clearing up your mind, getting more space in your life again. Um, so we've been able to do that for our family and for other people who want to make a business out of it, um, and there's nothing to say you can't do both those things, simplify and do a business. Um, I know somebody who made a stupid amount of money flipping strollers, um, just looking for items that had been posted on Kijiji for lower prices, picking it up, marking it up again, and then putting it back out on Kijiji and selling it like that. Um, she did great, it was really smart. And then for other people, you can flip you know, other people's items that they can't be bothered to put up. They're happy to give it to you if you're willing to do the work to earn the money. Or my personal favorite, and so I've where, where I've made a bit of extra spare cash, is flipping people's garbage. Um, the city that I live in, people put the most crazy things at the end of their driveways um, that should have gone into a thrift store, but they just want to get rid of it, so they trash it. And so I've been able to find all sorts of kids' toys, tons of Fisher Price and Play School items that are in amazing, perfect condition and just put them up on Kijiji. And that's been money that I've used to send my little guy to gymnastics, for pizza, for like just all these little extras in life just because I was able to pick up something that somebody else had curbed and put it on Kijiji. Kijiji opens up all sorts of possibilities. And my tip for you is take advantage of those. Um, if you have any other questions, if you're wondering about you know the Kijiji experience, feel free to put your question in the comments. I'll get back to you if I've got an answer for you, or I'll say I don't know if I don't know and see if I can point you in another direction. Um, but otherwise, just what are your thoughts? Do you use Kijiji? Do you have any tips for how to be successful on the platform? And if you found this particular video helpful, please be sure to share it with anybody you think would benefit. And remember to subscribe. There's a little subscribe button in the bottom there. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting other videos my squirrely thoughts, <laughs> random things in life, but good things that I love to share with you. So I hope that this video was helpful. All the best. Bye.